Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy. I'm standing here in front of our beautiful showroom, Houston Window Experts in Houston, Texas. If you're ever in the area or if you're considering windows or doors for your house, please drop by and check it out. I think you'd love to see what we've got. Over 12 brands of windows and doors to choose from. Everything that might work for your budget might be right under this roof. You should come check it out. Now, if you don't live in the area and you want to know about a great window company near you, you're enjoying these YouTube videos, I've got a list I created. It's on jeffslist.com. Go check it out there. Okay, so I'm standing outside in the sun and in the heat on purpose. In fact, my cameraman said, are you crazy? It's 102 degrees in Houston today, and that's one of the reasons you might consider buying windows, because think about this. People say to me all the time, Jeff, do I really need new windows? And the answer is sometimes very obvious, right? Like if your windows are rotting and you've got rot, and you've got old wood windows, yes, you do need new windows. If your windows won't open in a bedroom because they're painted shut, or they're made out of old aluminum and they're stuck there and you can't get out and you had a fire. I know you could smash the glass, but people panic when stuff happens, right? There might be some reasons why you need, 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 need windows. Like, let me tell you what happened to me this week. My air conditioner went out. I need a new air conditioner. That's not an option. I can't go without it. So things like that sometimes happen that require you to fix or replace your windows. But what about the times when you're like, Jeff, I, it's not 102 degrees. I don't live in Houston. I don't really need to replace my windows. Can you give me a few good reasons why I might just go ahead and add those to the scale to see if it tips the balance for me as to whether or not I should buy windows? So I got to thinking about that and I thought, what are the things that I'm hearing from people as to why they chose to replace windows that weren't like emergency reasons or the windows were completely rotted out or something? And I got to thinking about a few of those. And here's a few I should mention to you. I think the first one that I hear the most is comfort. People, they feel like they want comfort. They're not comfortable. It's, it's cold downstairs, right, and heat rises. And so to be, to be comfortable upstairs where it's hotter, they turn the air conditioner down, and now it's cold downstairs. And they know I'm spending money on cooling, making the downstairs cold so that I can make the upstairs comfortable. So being comfortable. Another thing that they're not comfortable with sometimes is the amount of noise that's coming through the windows. I hear people all the time say, Jeff, we did not buy windows from you because we had a problem with noise from the neighbors, but we were shocked how much quieter things are now. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing I hear from people when windows go in is I can see through them. They look so great. They're so awesome, but it's also so much quieter. I'm sleeping better and sleeping better is a good thing. So, hey, I like that. The other thing I hear a lot too, which is cool is, you know, we have this like season where we call it the yellow snow. It's when the pollen lands all over everything in Houston. I've got black cars. I hate it. And nothing escapes this pollen. And I hear people say, Jeff, I couldn't believe it, but when I got new windows, because of bad, better windows now and not so much air and stuff coming in, I'm not getting dust, I'm not getting pollen. It's really helped me with my asthma, it's helped me with my allergies, it's helped me with my COPD. So there's a lot of benefits to that that maybe you hadn't thought of. There's also some economic benefits, and of course you probably already have heard these about saving money on your light bill. But think about this, my air conditioner went out, and it's a 15-year-old air conditioner, and I live in a house that has Pella double pane windows. If I'd had Pella single pane windows or I'd had bad windows that were like kind of leak a lot of air and stuff, that air conditioner would have to have run longer and harder over the last 15 years, which means that my air conditioner probably would have gone out two or three years ago. So when you think about buying windows, it's not just about saving money on energy and not just being more comfortable and not just having better sleep at night and better allergies and things like that. It also might mean a financial improvement for you and your home because you don't have to replace your air conditioner quite as often. So that's a big plus. But let me tell you one of the greatest pluses to buying windows that I can think of, that something I read recently, it was really interesting, it's in a remodel magazine. They said that when people look at buying homes, they found that the three things that are most important to people who are buying a new home are improvements when it comes to the kitchen and the bathroom. And number three, believe it or not, on that list, was new windows. And I thought, wow, I didn't know that. Yes, it is true. So it made me think about who our clients are. And we ask everybody every time we see them, hey, tell me about how long you've lived in the house. And one of the things that we hear an awful lot, almost 20% of the time, is people living in this house for under six months. And if I could summarize that into a sentence, what they're saying is, we love this house enough to buy it, but we hated the windows. I love my house, but I hate my windows. So. Maybe that's enough reason for you to buy. Maybe you're not in the market to buy windows, but I will close with this. Don't forget that utility prices keep going up. Don't forget that window prices keep going up. So if you thought about doing it, you think you might wanna do it, this might be the time.
hey, I've got a great video on I can't afford these windows about window prices and some things for you to consider. I'll put a little link to it up here. Also, don't forget that if you're in the area, I'd love for you to come by. I'd love to meet you. If not, check out jeffslist.com. Thanks for watching. Ooh, it's hot out here. Hope you have a great day.